Okay, today I'm going to show you how to interactively edit Perl with Stylish. Uh, Stylish is my new editor integration package for Perl. Um, the only features that are implemented right now are a REPL, which is a read eval print loop, and syntax highlighting. I'm just going to show you the REPL because the syntax highlighting uh, doesn't work very well yet. Okay, Stylish comes in two parts. One part is the Lisp side. Um, you can see the instructions that come with the package on how to load the list, but it's just like any other Emacs package. Uh, the other half is Perl, um, and it's just a PO server that does all the smart stuff for us. So all the important logic is in the uh, Perl side. So this means that you can hopefully plug this into an editor other than Emacs and get the same features. Um, I don't have any interest in doing that because I like Emacs, but uh, other people might disagree. So let's just start the server. I'm going to open up an X term. Um, and the server is just stylish.pl. If you've installed this from CPAN somehow, then you can just say stylish.pl. But anyway, um, it's in debugging mode, so it'll show you um, that it started up. And once we started that, um, we just say meta x stylish repl in Emacs. And now we have our stylish repl. So I'll show you what you can do here is you can just uh, type some in some Perl query and get the answer back. Um, what's nice, unlike some of the other repls, is that it actually maintains the lexical environment uh, between commands. So you can say my foo equals 42, and then you can say foo plus 8, and see if that's 50. But if you try to use some other variable that you didn't declare, you get an error. Okay, so that's basic stuff, um, and you can do this with any repl, although it is nice with all the pretty colors in Emacs. So let me show you some other features that stylish repl has. Um, I'm just going to open up test.pl um, and let's let's actually make this a new class so I'm just making a moose class called class and that's it so now if I want to play with this class I just press control meta X and that'll send the file over to um, the repo um, and it'll say that it died but it didn't actually we'll just add a true value at the end there okay so now it's happy so now we can say something like class new and there's our new class store that in a variable whatever this class doesn't really do much because as you may have noticed there's no code so let's just add some attribute okay so now this is a little bit more interesting um, so just save this and we can send it back to the repo um, and then we'll say my class is class new uh, and then we can say class foo, and that's undefined, but we can set it to something like 42. Oops. Okay, and you can see we have a history, so you can navigate back and forth. Um, it's very easy to use. And of course, you can uh, use any Emacs editing features uh, inside this command prompt. So control A to go to the beginning of the line, control E to go to the end, um, and you can search in here. Okay, so it's very integrated into Emacs. It works perfectly. Um, you can also use dynamic abbreviations. So you can just type CL and then press uh, meta slash, and it'll expand that to class for you. So it's just like any coding in Emacs, except you press enter and it gets sent to Perl. Okay, so let me show you some other features. Let's say we want to implement a method here um, that adds foo to itself and then multiplies by four. And since this is some really difficult math, I want to prototype that out in the repo uh, before I actually implement it in my class. So yeah, it's very easy to mess that up. So I'm just going to make this an integer so that Moose knows it's supposed to be a number. Um, and then I'll make a new uh, instance. We'll just set foo to 42 by default. Now I'm calling this self because what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this function inside the repo and then I'm going to pull it into uh, my Emacs buffer. So I'll just start this out with sub add to self. Okay, and myself equals shift as usual. Okay, so now that we have that typed in, we can start doing the routine. So let's start with sum equals uh, self plus dollar sign self. Okay, and that's uh, actually not correct because we don't want to add self to itself. We want to call this method on it foo. Okay. So that, that looks right, but you know, it would be a lot nicer. Maybe we can just multiply by two instead. 
Okay, I think I like that better. That's much more readable. Um, now what we can do is we can say comma CI, and that will commit it to the editing buffer. Now, um, what the editing buffer is, is it's the uh, block of code that we're currently working on. And the repo will remember that for you, so you can do nice things with that. Um, help will show you all the commands that you can use, but basically the important one is list to see what we're working on. Uh, delete will blow that line away. Now it's not there anymore. And CI will commit it to that list. Okay. So let's see. We said we wanted to multiply this by four when we were done. So we'll just say return sum times four. Okay, and that looks like the right answer to me, so we'll commit that. Now that we have our function uh, in there, we can try running it again. Maybe change self to some other thing. Oops. Let's see if it works on this data also. Yep, that looks like the right answer. Okay, once we're happy with the function, we can just say kill, and that will add it to Emacs' kill buffer, and then we can yank it into our uh, source code buffer like that and send that back and now we can say and there's our real package so stylish REPL is a pretty new project um, but it's already very useful and this is the sort of thing that you can do with it thanks for listening